Hi guys, um, it's me, Gleesomer. I know you're probably like, what? Is this a joke? Why am I here? I'm also wondering those questions, but, I mean, I'm here, so, hey. <laughs> um, today, I'm gonna be just showing you guys this, like, the Enros career um, it's like the mobster, I'm not sure the exact name of it, the mobster assassination mod. Um, I'll link it below. So basically, oh, it's not in Stories of Russian. You go, you can find it under NRAS and then careers and assassination. And currently, um... I'm in this just western town that I've been playing lately, and I'll link the town below too, it's like a really awesome town, like you can tell it's like really highly detailed and everything. And I did add, like, the I added these houses over here to it, and I added like these houses up here, because I just wanted it to be bigger. And I don't know if it comes with a save game. I created all um, the sims in this town, like, myself. I guess I just kind of like to do that, though. Because um, I think it's fun. I didn't mean to do that. So you can probably... You can make your own sims. You it might There might be, like, a save game online. But otherwise, you can just import your families. And I just thought it was really cool. Because I like the whole western theme. And I make sure all of the sims are edited so they're in like old western clothes and stuff and if I can figure out how to put the save beam up I will but I probably won't because I'm really untalented <laughs> so anyway um, I'm playing this the Williams family right now which real life it's linked to Abigail Williams I mean she got married now from the crucible because it looks just like Winona Ryder not to brag, but it was fucking, it was really good. Not to swear. Um, anyway, so my, my boy Ronald, who is like the padre of the family, this is our little family tree. Our kids are Emmett, Lucy Nell, and Mary Jane. Not the drug, wasn't intended. Kind of funny though. Um, anyway, this is our little fam. So... Bridget or Madre, she's just a regular criminal, but I had Ronald join the assassination career. Um, and so he's a level six in like the family, which is what it's called. Once you reach level five of this career, which is the career that comes with the mobster assassination mod, you can choose if you want to stick with the family or like go against and like go under or whatever and rebel, I guess. I didn't really know what that meant, and I couldn't find an explanation online. There's really not that much, like, info of this mod online. It's for Sims 3, if you can't tell. So I decided I would make this video just to, like, help you out, because I kind of wish this was a thing. Anyway, so he just chose to stay with the family, and... Yeah, so his current thing is the family has accepted you... You need to show you don't mind getting your hands dirty. And what I liked about this career so far is that, um, you know these, like, things over here? For every level of the career, like, they've switched so far. So, like, at one point he had to have an athletic skill. Uh, um, he had to, like, have relationships with his boss. But now it's, like, switched, like, every rank you go up, which I think is fun and interesting. So right now he has to have an assassination, which is like actually a skill with this mod. Um, he has to be close with his like co-workers, his family, like because it's a gang I guess. He has to recruit sims to this career. Um, I don't know if this came, this came with um, the careers mod or if it's just in game. I've never seen it like really before this, but basically it's just a friendly interaction where you invite sims to join your career. And they quit their job and join you. Then logic skill. 
And so, I don't know which order to do this in. I'll show you the assassination skill first. He's in level 2 right now, which is all he needs for his career. And so, basically, unconfirmed kills, what that means is if you, like, have, like, I used to have a gun mod. If I kill someone with that, that would count as an unconfirmed kill because I didn't, like, use a method in the mod. A confirmed kill is when you use something, like, with the mod, like, you poison them or something like that, where it's, like, through the mod and the mod knows, like, your sim did it and whatever. And then a contract kills, it's kind of like a bounty hunt, bounty hunter, like, hitman kind of thing. Um, and so yeah, those come up, like, once you reach a certain level in, like, the assassination career, and it will, like, come up as, like, kind of a career opportunity, and it's, like, um, like, the boss says, like, you need to kill this person, or whatever, and it's, you just kill them, um, basically, and then you get a career boost and money and whatever. Kinda nice. <laughs> and then three random kills, it's um, just, just randomly killing people you don't like. Um, like we killed, I think his dad, <laughs> so we could get inheritance money from him, <laughs> which I think comes from like the Enros money uh, mod, I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of what that is all about. In the police action section, it shows like what police aggression you have. We have zero right now because we haven't killed someone in a while. Um, and I'll explain that more when I show you like the stuff over like the settings for it. And then arrests, we've never gotten arrested. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm confused like... I don't know when you get arrested. I feel like if you get a high enough police aggression, they'll just, like, come after you, I guess. And then... 26,800 spent on bribes. Basically, when you kill someone, you get whatever amount of, like, police aggression. And you can go to the town hall and, like, I guess, like, under the table, like, pay off the cops so they, like, don't get mad at you. And I thought, like, I was like, whatever, like, as long as you don't get arrested, but actually at work, like, we would get, like, a decreased job performance if our police aggression was too high, like, kind of like in the real world, like, you know, if you have, like, a criminal record, like, they're not gonna hire you, they might fire you, or, like, you'll get demoted, or whatever, and so we would just pay money so we wouldn't get fired at work, <laughs> which is ironic, because our job is literally killing people, but, you know. And then here are the challenges, um, psychopath, hitman, you can kind of go through these on your own, I'm not going to go through them all. Um, what were we trying to do? Oh, because there's more down here. So there's these challenges and then there's minor challenges. I, like, even in regular skills, like, I don't understand what they do. It's like, I guess this is the same thing in the Kar Kama Simtra um, skill. Like, they have these minor challenges. It's like, help 20, um, geriatric, um, sims cross over to a better existence, and you'll achieve renown as Angel of Mercy. Like, what does renown mean? Do I get, like, a trophy? Hmm, but these are funny. Like, I think we're gonna try to do the Elder one because, honestly, because since I created everyone in this town and, like, all the family trees are, like, super complex and whatever, because, like, okay, I'm gonna show you this. Like, ours is pretty shallow, but, like, some of them are, like, like, there's some serious, like, stuff. Like, it goes back so far. Like, you know, like... So I don't like killing, like, young people when they could still have kids. I like, like, waiting until they're old and then I can kill them because they're not going to have kids anyway and I feel, like, less guilty about it and whatever. Um, but that's just me. So I think if we're going to do complete any of those, that would be the one because I feel less guilty killing old people. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, and then pop um, paparazzi, 
I guess. Um, we don't have- I've disabled paparazzi in this town though, so I'm not doing that. Killing cops. The thing- problem with that is when you kill a cop, there's so much police aggression that comes with it. Um, also like, yeah, don't want to like kill- okay, first off, I want to say like, I am like really for like gun control in America and stuff like that, like all the like um black lives matter and everything i don't want to like give the wrong idea i just realized um with this video this was just like this is just something like i'm doing for fun on the sims i'm really i'm a, a pretty like pacifist i would i don't know if you would say pacifistic person or whatever but i am a strong supporter of black lives matter i really am against, um, like, like, all, like, how easy it is to get a gun and whatever in America. I just want to say this, this does not reflect my, like, actual, this is, like, a fun Sims thing. Like, Sims isn't real life. It really isn't, like, like, I thought it would be funny to have, like, an old western cowboy in a gang. I thought that was, like, something fun and silly to do. That's all, that's all this is. Okay. Just clear in the air. <laughs> anyway, and then killing celebrities, killing vampires. So I don't have any supernaturals in this town, so that's also like a joke. Killing sins in front of witnesses, that also gets you a lot of police aggression, so no. And then killing 25 criminals. If you, a vigilante kill, vigilante, whatever, <laughs> um, it actually gives you less police aggression because like you're killing criminals but also like our wife is a criminal and basically our whole family is in the criminal career so like eh. uh, probably not gonna do that tools of the trade basically as you increase your assassination skill you get like options to like like either liquefy people which like drowns them like gives you like the generic drowning death for the sims or poison them and i guess like it um it doesn't like look anything special but that's just what happens um like how they die like your sim it's not like any cool interaction really but that's just what basically it determines what ghost they get and targets of aggression killed one celebrity um one political um, oh, service. I guess that, um, um, what are they called? NPA? What? I don't, I literally can't come up with them right now, but you know, those like generic sims that like move into your town and do weird things like bartend or whatever. And then we killed one person who witnessed us killing someone else, which was kind of a bad decision because she turned out to be like the mayor of the town and then the police started hating us. Um, and then a ninja lifetime basically means how many kills you've gotten without being witnessed. And then ninja current, it's like how many kills you've gotten since you were lit witnessed the last time. So basically we, we had a little run there or we were getting witnessed, but now we're all set. So then, if we come over to the town hall and go under Enras, careers, assassination, we have all these things. <laughs> First off, I do not know what this one means, but if you have, like, Enras mods, you kind of know that, like, I never touch this one, like, because they all have, like, a really long one. I just don't fuck with it, because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to, like, break my game or whatever. Reset settings, obviously, um... So the aggression section, kind of like I men mentioned, it's basically when you kill someone, like, you get police aggression, and then if you get enough aggression, the police will arrest you, and it could affect your job performance. And it, the automatic settings were, like, really high, but I had to lower them because we were killing a lot of people, and just, it costs so much money to, um, like, bribe the cops. So 300 aggression per confirmed um per cop if you so if it's confirmed kill if you use the mod to kill someone you get 300 
if you kill a cop or like someone in the politician career it's like obviously a lot more and so I always <laughs> before I kill people I always ask them what career they're in just to make sure we're not like totally shooting ourselves and so then unconfirmed if you don't use if you like use a gun mod or something like that so it's like not obvious I guess you could say um, it's less aggression I don't really know why I don't use that so it's not like necessary to me so per witness means like for every sin that witnesses your like your assassination you get um like an extra 5,000 so if you killed like a person and you only got 300 and then three people witnessed it it would be like 15,300 so just trying that's why we're in the ninja mode right now <laughs> then basically do you want to allow aggression and I think like it makes sense you know it's kind of fun aspect allow repossessions I'm not really sure what that means I think um, that once you get enough police aggression they will repossess your objects I'm not sure it hasn't happened to me because we always bribe and try and keep it chill <laughs> bribe inflation basically what um, what this means is like so for every day you have police aggression um, it will cost more and more to like um, bribe your way out of it I, it's kind of hard to explain like so if one day you had 300 police aggression the next day it would be like um what th like 0.3 percent like higher to pay it off if that makes sense and then chance per aggression Okay, so that's like, <laughs> I know I'm kind of figuring this out as I'm like showing you, like, don't yell at me, I'm doing my best. I thought I knew more than I did, it's pretty simple, like, for what I use it. Um, so like, if you had like a hundred thousand aggression points, which I doubt you would get without getting arrested, um, each, which, that would increase your, um, chances of intimidation. I don't know what chance of intimidation means. I'm pretty- it has something to do with, like, if you meet up with a cop, if you get arrested. The more you know. I don't know much, but there's literally nothing online about this. I can't figure it out, so. Rabbit hole corruption, basically, it's like the- not inflation, I guess, but. So, basically, if you pay, like, $200 in- in bribes to the um like when you're paying the town hall off to try and get like less police aggression if you pay two hundred dollars only um 190 would go to actually getting your um police aggression because you would get five percent taken off just because it's a corrupt system that's what it says um so then you would if you only pay 190 then you get 190 points removed. It was also set a lot higher. I think it was like 30% and I just did not have the money to do that so I like lowered it a little bit because, <laughs> you know, I think it's a corrupt system if they're accepting bribes anyway. Reduced aggression per arrest. Basically, if you get arrested, you get 50,000 aggression removed, which makes sense. Like, you know, if you're wanted and then you pay time, people are like, you know, that if you've paid your time, you're less suspicious. I know that's not, like, a criminal justice system sucks dick, but whatever. Reduced aggression per day. So basically, every day you don't go out and kill someone, you get, like, minus 1,000. And then reduced aggression per vigilante means if you kill, if you kill a criminal, then, like, it's, like, you get a, aggression taken away like that you had before because you look like a hero and such whatever you know um and then general it's a you can allow arrests allow last guardian kills which basically means you could kill if there's like a woman and four children in a household you could kill the women and the children would level it will like 
because otherwise, you know when you do some things that it says progression denied, it wouldn't deny you, it would let you kill them and the children would just have to live alone. Allow teen kills. Um, basically you can kill a teen, pretty easy. <laughs> Allow user directed progression denied kills. This is basically, if it says progression, like for example, if I didn't allow less guardian kills and I wanted to kill the last guardian since I'm the user, um, basically I could kill that person just because I wanted to, but other assassins in the town couldn't kill them. It's only because it was my choice. I mean, I guess like that doesn't really matter because I allowed everything, but in theory, if you didn't want teens to die, but then on one occasion you wanted to kill a teen, you could do it, and because the progression denied doesn't apply to you. And celebrity gain, I guess you just get um, celebrity points every time you kill someone, which is kind of fun because then, like, you get like shamed as a celebrity and stuff for killing people, you know. Interesting. Um, and daily relationship change. It was a lot. Um, it used to be a lot, and I changed it because every time Ron would kill someone, his wife would start to hate him, and I was like, ah! Um, but basically, that just, like, usually lowers the relationship if you get a kill. And then hiring costs, like, how much you get paid to kill someone on, like, an opportunity kill. And is there anything else that I missed? No! Oh, minimum kills. I don't know what this means. Oh, I guess this was in those, like, small opportunities. The minimum kills, you need to complete that. I I really don't understand what those opportunities even were, though, so I could not tell you <laughs> what that means. But I guess I'm just going to kill someone to show you guys what it's all about. I'm going to have to choose an old person that I don't mind dying, so... This could take a while. Um, just looking for little spots. Oh, that's his sister, so that would be awkward. Oh no, it's not. Isn't this so cute though? Like, they're all western and such. I think it's adorable. <sighs> So, I don't know, when was the last time I made a video? Probably two years ago. I think that's funny. I don't know why I'm here now. I'm kind of bored. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... Honestly, my computer was so fucking glitchy. And it just was so bad, and... I think that's a horse, yeah. I guess now it's gotten better, so... I guess it's gotten better and that's why I'm doing this, but I don't want to kill like a young people. This is frustrating. Um, I'll get back in a second. Okay, so I can literally find nobody, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna kill my wife, lol, but I'm just gonna show you like what his options would be. He doesn't have many, because I do not have a guns mod, or there's like a teddy bear killing mod, which is kind of confusing to me. But I'll just show you what the options theoretically would be, and we've all seen Sims die, so it's not like hard to imagine what happens, it's not anything fancy. He ju It just kind of looks like he's punching them, I guess. So it's under mean, and since he's evil, Oh, for a while there were shakedown funds, too. Um, so basically, we have all these lovely things, and I can poison or liquefy her, and poisoning her would just cause her to have, like, the starvation death, and liquefy would cause her to have the drown drowning death, and then she would die. Um, I mean, that's basically it. One thing I really like about the career is it's really easy, like the first, the first like level of the career it's impossible to get by because you have like barely any hours and it's so hard to get a promotion because it's just like, it looks like a part-time job. 
But then once you get up there, if you have an improved logic skill, it just says, like, your sim, like, manipulated someone into getting yourself a promotion, and you just, like, go up really fast, and then you make, like, really good money, like, pretty quickly. So, I mean, that's it. So, thanks for watching. And apologize again for my hiatus of, like, three years, but no point. Send me hate. I want to hear it. It's okay. I appreciate it. Um, so tell me if if you want to see a video or something. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me what you want. Um, my zombie apocalypse game. Wait, I'm just gonna show you the picture so you can see how glitchy it is right now. Cause it's pretty funny. Um. <laughs> It's because my game, like, really sucked. Because I had so much custom content in it that it just did not work at all. And so, I'll, sh I'll show you how, like, effed up it is. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, um, can we, j let's just take a minute, that doesn't, like, hmm, like, what even is that, is that, is that a child, is that, like, a pole, a rocket ship? So, I'm honestly kind of scared to do <laughs> open it, because I'm afraid it will break my computer, but, I mean, if you really, if you really want to see it, I can try it. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that's all. See you guys later. Nice to see you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.